The Vikings found themselves with their backs against the wall. With only 10 seconds to go and no timeouts remaining, it was time for the Vikings to put up a prayer, but just as all hopes seemed lost, something outrageous happened. Their prayers were answered. This is caught Dia's sideline touchdown. It's a shame that Dink's playoff luck didn't translate in this year's playoffs, but at least he can sleep at night knowing his quarterback isn't Zach Wilson because that's what keeps Garrett Wilson up at night. Garrett Wilson, W. Wa, my man just took a terrible pass and turned it into a game-tying touchdown catch. But next up, I got to show you something. See this play. L. Offake flipped to Beckham, and he gets away. No Beckham is room to run. Odell Beckham gets back. Odell Beckhamer. All the way touchdown. Cleveland, you me man, I'm just toast. But you know what to say, right? The great ones always find a way. Just poor angles. Xavier Woods, man, are you not entertained? And if that didn't tour. In you on then maybe this will back and fiend he between Russell Wilson running for his life and current Swan making the toe at tap of his life. This play is simply insane, but so is Troy Palalo. He's an eight-time Pro Bowler, a former defensive player of the year and even a two-time Super Bowl champ. But what really separates Palam Malu from the pack isn't just his long, luscious hair, it's Thaves always one step away. Oh my goodness, I mean come on, name another player on the planet who can't owe that. I'll tell you who can't. His name is Von Davis, and in 2018 he made an announcement that shocked everyone. It was a 2 e matchup between the Bills and the Chargers. And by halftime, the Chargers were destroying the Bills. The score was 28-6, and it was so deflating that Von Davis made a light life-changing decision on the fly. He looked in the mirror and said to himself, but Fisikin, you know you can't compete in a more you owe it to yourself. That's right, this dude really retire. D at half time, and if you think that's crazy, then buckle up, cause you won't even see our 11th moment coming. He's going to take it. Look at this. He's going to throw touch. Imagine kicking your opponent's butt and saying, you know what? Let's us 6'3, 340 pounds nose tackle THR touchdown pass. And that's something only Andy Reid would think of. Although not even Andy Reid could force seed orphanal 10 moments, because these moments make one in a million seem probable. And to kick off our top 10, it's the one and only Derek Henry. Watch closely. Has about to put the entire team on his back for a little breathing room and they get it. And plenty more. Derrick Henry still going stays in bounds. He might go 99 and hold up. Let's backtrack. This dude stiff armed a grown man that proceeded to throw a man to the ground and then completely embarrassed a third defender. How is this man not on steroids? All right, but for our ninth moment, Packer fans, you're going to want to look away CN. 2014, the Packers were two course away from the Super Bowl. The score was 160, and all hopes seemed lost for the Seahawks. But then something suddenly clicked because the Seahawks went into the second half with vengeance on their mind, and before long, the score went from 160 to 194, yet time wasn't on their side. All the Packers had to do was recover the inside kick, and this game was over. That's when pandemonium happened in the biggest moment of his career. Bostic turned his nightmares into a reality. But but don't worry, all the Packers needed was one final defensive end stand. Well about that third-year Prowlson fires pass caught Luke Wilson fast forward to overtime and Thesa Gox won a coin flip. I think you can figure out what happened next. Thesa Hawks scored a touchdown and booked themselves a trip to the Super Bowl shortly after Brandon Bostic was released. Now you hate to see a single play ruin a player's career. But on flip side, all it takes is one play and death. Suddenly you're a fan favorite Raven set to get good field position here. Tyan Wallace from the 25. Tyan Wallace breaks out of a tackle, takes it down the sideline. He stays in bounds. He stays on his feet. He takes it all the way and ends the game. There are Reno a game-winning punt return touchdown in overtime. If this is a dream, that Simeon please wake me up. Meanwhile, our seventh moment is anything but a dream because in 2003, the Minnesota Vikings are on the clock. They held the seven hover all pick and were poised to select defensive tackle Kevin Williams out of Oklahoma State, but at the last minute Teffy traded down to 10th overall pick in exchange for the Ravens' 4th and 6th round draft selections. There was just stone problem. The team logo on the Espen broadcast hadn't changed. See the Vikings thought they called in the trade. However, the league never exit executed the trade and the Vikings watched in disbelief. The time expired. That's when the real chase began because 
The next thing they knew Jacksonville Jaguars were on the clock, then before long it was the Panthers' turn. All the while the Vikings are frantically trying to get their pick to the commissioner. Fortunately that's where the craziness stopped, and in the end the Vikings still added Kevin Williams with the ninth overall pick. But not all disasters have a happy ending. The Vikings may have gotten their guy, but in New York what starts bad only gets worse. Meanwhile he just tries to get away from everybody, throws it into the end zone, into a lot of traffic, and there's a pick on the the other side and coming back from the end zone is Holland and Holland is out to midfield and Holland is inside the 40 and Holland ice inside the 20. Can you believe it this? And it was at this moment the entire world knew the Jets season was over that said not many fans were were surprised to see the Jets self implode but one thing I didn't see coming waste ending of the week 14 Bills versus Schiff. Game with less than 90 seconds on clock, the Chiefs had a chance to take the lead for good. That's when Travis Kels made one of the smartest plays of his career. There's a flag down at the line of scrimmage as the pass this to an open Travis Kels, who flinks it back over to Tony. My goodness, this is going for a touchdown. While the scriptwriters always seem to have the Chiefs back, actually hold on a second and getting a call. Oh, is that right? All right, I'll let him know, guys. You're not going to believe this card as Tony was offsides. Here they come again. There's a flag down at the line of scrimmage since when did receivers jump off sides that's a gutsy call to say the least a specialize since Patrick Mahomes completely went bananas to straight. Underscore underscore. Terrible. Underscore underscore. Worst call of ever. Underscore underscore. Seen manding that no would tell him Patrick Mahomes was a drama queen however if you really want to see a play that's one in a million you are going to have to check out our folk. RDH moment seed rules are simple if the Chicago Bears make this kick, they advance to the divisional round if the Bears miss this kick, they are eliminated, but somehow there's no such thing as simple and thinful because what happened next is a roller coaster that took everyone by surprise, and oh he hits the, I'd again that's impossible not one but two dinks I got an idea let's call it the double doink here there's something I'm not telling you cause there are two sides to the story and I never told you the other side of it it wasn't Cody Parker's fault they're lining up for a field goal this game's about over. I think my career is pretty much over 10 seconds later, right that you know we're looking up at this thing floating and in dinking and dinking again. And the thing I, I remember, and you'll never forget, was getting to the locker room and hearing from Traven Hester, who's an unheralded guy you know and signed Cad. He was on special teams that he tipped a ball and then.